Hey, how's it going? This is the workbench that I do most of my projects on, and uh, there's a couple little tweaks I want to make to it. The big things I'm going to work on today are this top camera mount and cable management. There's never enough outlets. It's pretty easy to get sucked into the next project and the next project and the next, but sometimes I find it's good to take a step back and just do some cleaning, organizing, infrastructure improvements removing a little bit of friction from your workspace. Whenever I feel overwhelmed or burned out, this usually helps out a lot. It's been a while since the workbench has been this clean. These power bricks should definitely be hard mounted. That's been bothering me. A lot of camera gear and outlets have overflowed to this main power strip, so there's not many outlets left for power tools. I want to make this box dedicated to just my overhead lights, and then I add another one for constant power to cameras and the CRTs. It may not be the most complex or glamorous thing, but throwing in easy little wins between bigger projects is really good for maintaining flow state. This is one thing I don't like about this setup. I have these colored light bulbs that I use for green and orange accents, but they're these stupid Bluetooth things that you have to hook up to an app and sometimes they randomly unpair. I would like to replace these with something that is not connected to an app and doesn't do this. Ow, it shocked me. I cut off the diffusers to make them more like projector bulbs, but apparently, I can also shock myself with that, so don't do that. I decided to switch up the lighting a bit by adding in this desk lamp that I thrifted for like $2. Having a bit of extra control to the direction of my light really helps out with filming. I'll find some new colored lights another day, but for now, after securing my second outlet box, plugging in all my CRTs and camera power supplies, and labeling the pair as constant power and lights, it was time to make some much needed improvements to the overhead camera rig. These cables are all over the place, HDMI, power, and audio, and I'd like to come up with a solution that doesn't leave wires dangling everywhere. My idea is to insert this PVC doohickey at the top of the setup and just route all the wires through there to make it a bit cleaner. Now this is by no means a permanent solution, but it definitely keeps things a bit more tidy than they were before. It's not ideal, but for sure an improvement. Now the biggest thing I'm going to fix today is the positioning of the overhead camera. It's framed up to the center of the desk, but I usually work at the edge. It's got a bit of depth adjustment, but it doesn't go as far out as I would like it to. So I'm just going to take off the mounting plate and add something in between to increase the overall length. I have this extra ball joint from a tripod that I took apart to use the mounting plate on a different setup. So I'm just going to take that and add it to the whole overhead rig. While I had the old stand taken apart, I took off some of the old chipping paint and rust and made it a little bit nicer again. I actually think it's kind of cool seeing how quickly the heat gun sets the paint from glossy to matte. Yes, we are unironically watching paint dry right now. Welcome to my channel. I had to modify the mounting plate a little bit, adding this screw hole and slots for the alignment pins, but the extra effort was definitely worth it for how sturdy this joint came out. This new setup brings the camera a couple inches closer to the edge of the workbench and gives me additional angles. With the small improvements in cable management and lighting as well, shooting at the workbench should be a lot more seamless now. This has me really psyched for the next big project. I think that's it for today. I can already tell all this stuff is going to help out my filming a lot, and it feels nice to have gotten some infrastructure upgrades done. It's always kind of hard to fit in these little things. They end up getting skipped over between bigger projects, but being more intentional about scheduling out the time to do these, you know, little 
upkeep projects is uh, a big help. I'm always surprised at how much just a weekend of cleaning and organizing can help morale in the following weeks and months even. Let me know if these little compilations of smaller projects are something you'd like to see on the channel going forward. I might do one of these every month or two. But for now, I'm going to clean up my mess and get on to the next project. Thank you for your time.